So the other day I was cleaning my bathroom, here we are in my bathroom, and cleaning it up got me thinking about how back when I struggled with OCD, cleaning my bathroom wasn't something I could do well. That reminded me of an important fact that I wanted to share, and that fact is, messy people can have OCD too. I think there's a very unhelpful stereotype that OCD is about obsessive compulsive cleaning and that if you're cleaning obsessively compulsively, then you have OCD. But I think that can prevent a lot of people from recognizing that they also might have OCD and they don't see it because they think, oh, well, it's about cleaning obsessively. I don't clean obsessively, therefore I don't have a problem. OCD is much more than cleaning obsessively. You can have OCD compulsions related to cleaning, but you can also have OCD compulsions related to making things messy and you can have OCD compulsions that have nothing to do with things being clean or messy. OCD is about patterns. It's about patterns in thoughts and patterns in behaviors. So specifically, I always say that OCD is about coping, checking, and controlling as a reaction to uncertainty, anxiety, and other feelings we don't like. So that can cover all sorts of different things, and it's really important with OCD to look past those superficial compulsions at those patterns underneath, because it's those patterns that we want to throw out. It's those patterns that lead to being unhealthy. For me, my OCD compulsions made things very messy uh, in a couple different ways. So it, when it came to the bathroom, I, I wasn't, you know, I had compulsions related to contamination, so around fears of germs and killer bacteria, but also around chemicals, so a lot of like cleaning fluids and stuff like that. So what would happen is that I would decide, okay, I'm gonna clean the bathroom today. But, you know, then it starts to get close to lunchtime. So then I'd say, well, I don't want to clean before lunchtime because I'll get germs on my hands and then I'll, you know, contaminate the food and then I'll eat them and then I'll die. So we'll do it after lunch. And, but then maybe after lunch I'd be going to the gym or something like that. And I'd decide, well, you know, I don't want to go to the gym and smell like cleaning products because then people are going to think, you know, all sorts of bad things about me. So then I would put the cleaning off again. But then maybe it gets to, you know, nighttime and maybe I was going to go see some friends. And I'd be like, well, I, you know, I don't want to clean something and get some kind of bacteria resistant, you know, bug on my hands and then pass it to one of my friends and then be responsible for killing one of my friends. So I'm not going to clean right now. I'll do it. I'll do it when I get home. And so I'd have to say like, you know, even if I come home at 11 o'clock at night, I'm, you know, I'll take care of it. But then of course I would get home at 11 o'clock at night and be like, well, I'm actually about to go to bed and if I clean right now, I'm gonna contaminate everything, like I'm gonna contaminate my bed and like, all sorts of terrible things. And then, so I just said, okay, well, I'll do it tomorrow. And of course I, I wouldn't do it tomorrow, that cycle would repeat and the bathroom would get dirtier and dirtier and the dirtier it got, actually the more terrifying it would be to clean it because then I could see that it was very dirty so then it would become, it would seem even more rational and reasonable to avoid cleaning it. So that's one way that OCD compulsions can actually lead to things being much messier. But there were also compulsions related to my social anxiety fears. And they would play out in a couple different interesting ways. So one was that because the, my apartment or my home, wherever I happened to be living at the time, would be messy. So other areas of the, my home would be messy as well, so often for different reasons. So I might be procrastinating, so it would seem like, oh, I shouldn't spend my time on cleaning because you know I'm behind on this project, so uh, forget that, leave everything where it is, I've gotta get this project done. That would make my home very messy, in addition to the messiness in the bathroom. So then I would have said, okay, well, I can't have people over because I believed, I had this very unhelpful belief that you know, the apartment must be spotless or else people will judge me, they'll think terrible things about me. So because the apartment, of course, wasn't spotless because I was engaging in these other compulsions, I wouldn't have people over. So I was able to regulate and control distance with other people. And also then I would put off dating. So I would really want to not be alone. I would be afraid of being alone forever and engage in all sorts of compulsions around that. But since I believed the apartment had to be clean, I would also decide things like, oh, well, I'm not gonna date right now because I can't have anybody over to my apartment because it's messy. I have to clean it first. So I would create this barrier through the compulsions that actually prevented me from going and getting other things that I wanted in life. And there were other compulsions I had too that would lead to my home being messy. I would keep things because I was, you know, just in a very OCD way, always reacting to uncertainties about like, what if I needed this? What if something bad happened and I needed this thing? So I would get lots of extra stuff. And so whether it was in the kitchen or in any other place, I often just had stuff that I was afraid to get rid of because what if I needed it? I also had checking compulsions related to receipts. 
So I would have a lot of receipts, whether they were all just in my bedroom or somewhere else in the apartment, I would have receipts collecting because I was afraid either I'd be accused of stealing something and I'd need to prove that I bought it, or I'd be afraid of getting ripped off and losing money. So I'd check the receipt and then hold it for whatever reason. Uh, I would keep all sorts of bank receipts because I was afraid you know, my money would get taken or I wouldn't be able to prove that I had deposited money. So I would keep all the deposit slips every time I deposited something. So I would just collect all of this stuff it all leads to having a messy home. But that was OCD too. There are so many different ways we try to control uncertainty and all the other feelings we don't like, but really try to look and see the patterns beneath them. Because somebody who reacts to uncertainty about germs by cleaning obsessively is actually engaging in the exact same compulsions that I was when I was reacting to fears of germs by not cleaning. We're both reacting to uncertainty by trying to control our fears. So whatever compulsions you're dealing with, know that it is possible to cut them out. It's possible to get over OCD and recovery from OCD is a great experience because you get to do all sorts of fun things like clean toilets. That's, that's fun, right?